So sin theta is given as 7 upon 25. We are supposed to find the value of cos theta and tan theta. This is the second method that we are going to do. That is going to be by triangle method. So I'm going to draw this triangle. Okay, this is the triangle that is there. Triangle ABC is there. The angle is taken as theta. And the value of sine theta is 7 upon 25. Okay, now we have seen this before. Sine theta is opposite side upon hypotenuse. Okay, so that is going to be 7 upon 25. So the opposite side of this is this, that is BC, that is 7. And hypotenuse over here is 25 okay now this is your right angle triangle so I can use Pythagoras theorem and I can find the value of AB okay so we will use here by Pythagoras theorem I put a new square that is AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square Okay, AC over here is 25, so this will become 25 square is equal to AB square. We have to find AB plus BC square will be 7 square. So this is going to become 625. I'll bring this 7 square here, so it will become minus 7 square is 49. This will be AB square. So AB square is equal to, if I subtract this, I'm going to get 576 square root of this will give me square root of 576 is 24 so this side is going to become 24 now directly you can write the values of cos theta and tan theta cos theta is adjacent side upon hypotenuse and tan theta is opposite upon adjacent. So cos theta is adjacent side. Adjacent side of this is this AB that is 24 divided by hypotenuse is this that is 25. Same with tan theta is opposite upon adjacent. Opposite side of this is 7. And adjacent side of this is 24. This is the second method by which we can find the other trigonometric values like cos theta and tan theta. Just take down this second method and then we'll do the other sums.